Welcome back to a new episode of Everlasting Summer Lena Root Out or Root Lena walked next to me holding my hand The silence of the dungeon was interrupted only by the sound of our step and water dripping from the ceiling We move, for uh, we move forward slowly, maybe too slowly I suddenly felt a surge of uh, claustrophobia. I gritted my teeth and squeezed the torch, but uh, losing my grip at once, fearful of uh, b breaking our only source of light. Lena kept silence, and her silence seemed loyal uh, than any war. Louder than any war, sorry. I start to fear. Say something. Dude! What? There are door. She points forward. We come to a ma massive metal door with a biohazard sign. Look like a bomb. Sh uh, look like a bomb shelter. Yes, I have heard something about it. Why is it th here? I had no idea. Maybe because of the Cuban Missile Crisis. Uh, Kuben? I estimated the uh, approaching time of consider the camp makes sense. However, building a bomb shelter here was like building an airport at the fogon of a nether bomb land. Or like that in Wall Station in UK. Was it uh, deep enough to end too far from civilization? The door will dolly crack. I had to push it with all my strength before I turned to cobble time. I made up my mind and opened the door with difficulty. We entered the room which seemed to be main living quarter. There was some bed cases, some scientific equipment. They had been thoroughly prepared for a nuclear apocalypse. We didn't find any sign of a Shrek uh, there though. Look! Lena was holding the flare gun and smith, uh, smile. Why would I need it? To fight monsters! <laughs> <laughs> there are no monsters here. At least I wanted to believe that. If you say so. <laughs> like uh, she really, really. Think about that, yeah. I guarantee it. I didn't want to upset her, so I tackled the flare gun into my belt. It might have come handy. We saw Sergio uh, the room once again. There was two exits. The first was the door we had entered, and the other one uh, was another door exactly the same in the left wall. For a moment, I felt excitement. The urge to reach uh, the end of the labyrinth and to learn what surprise await me there. However, this surely wasn't a computer game and there are no option to save. Just to fuck with you. Just to fuck with you. I will. <laughs> Just to fuck with you. Yes, I saved. What, what are you gonna do, <laughs> Seymour? I just saved. <laughs> Maybe with this? <laughs> Lena uh, offered me a rather big uh, crowbar. No, I gave it uh, a try without the first. However, the door doesn't want to budge. It only cracked nicely. The door wheel uh, didn't uh, turn millimeter. Okay, give it to me. It was too easy to crowbar. Whoa, that heavy. That will crack someone's skull. In the end, obstacle collapsed, hitting the floor loudly. The hindings were rusty completely thrown. I put the flashlight into the passageway. There was a corridor just like the one we had come here through. Let's go! This would be dangerous, take this with you! Ugh, Lena, you are totally nerfed in the head, aren't you? It was like Lena was constantly driving me on. Where are you rushing to? Me, I'm not. She blushed in confusion. Again, what should I make of her? First, she doesn't fear thing. Then she get a loss after war. 
You look like uh, you don't fear anything. I don't know what, uh, what, what should I fear? You will protect me anyway. Oh. She added, barely edible. Please, so Lena counting on me. She believe in me no matter what. Lena, you stupid. Why you believe in someone like me? <laughs> uh, did you see what I did to Sylvia last, last uh, route? I screw her life. <laughs> it's possible. Stupid, naive, but possible. I know clearly that I couldn't protect anyone, even myself. Nothing is up to me in this world. The powers that brought me here could do anything. That didn't exactly mean that inevitable death await me in the end of the tunnel. It could be lying in waiting anywhere in the camp. Let's go. I tried to walk faster, but Lena seemed to not be bothered by that and she easily kept uh, base me base with me this corridor was exactly the same as the private one in every last detail there was nothing shocking about it but at some point i got the feeling that we will were walking in circles the flashlight in my hand started to tremble visible the spot of light jumped all over the wall and the floor and suddenly it lit up a rather big hole. The hole wasn't too deep and down below we could see rails. What down there? Uh, look like a mine. Shall we have a look? Why not go further along the corridor? I don't know, there we should go down there. I estimate the height it uh, will be possible to pull ourselves out. Okay, let's check it out. I jumped down the hole and held Lena to get down. It really wasn't mine. I wonder what uh, they could have mined here. Well, mind your business. Ha ha ha. What metal are there in the area? I don't know. Well, yeah, stupid question. Looks like there are none here now. We headed into the darkness. It was hard to walk because I couldn't uh, choose where I trod. Wibbly, wooden, plank of even ground. I wasn't able to stick close to the walls either. The narrowness of the tunnel forced us to stay between the rail and I didn't want to let go of uh, Lena hands. Because there was soft and tendy. Follow the rich fork. Just stick it. What should we do? Well, where? I'm not certain that we able to go out of here at all. Especially if we going to play Batman. Play what? <laughs> Never mind. We'll get lost. <laughs> Make a reference to something from the 80s and the early 80s. Like... <laughs> What if there is an exit too? There may be one, and what if uh, there isn't? So, should we go back? I bit my lip till it uh, bleed and yellow of loud if I call. The loud echo rebound from every direction at once. Soil even fell from the castle in some places. See? Then I will go on alone. What? I grinned stupidly. Alone? Where to? Uh, well, well, we must find strength. He may be. Lena blushed once and started to the ground. No, no, no. Whoa. That won't do. If we go, we go together. Okay, then let's go. She smiled and took my hand. How does uh, she manage that? But first we should. I took a shred. Sharp a stone from the ground and thrash across the one beam which uh, support the walls. Now will we go know where to start? Go left, 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 right. 
What is that? This is Russian? Did they forget to translate that? the next turn a wooden door appear in the, uh, in the light at least it's something what at least it is not another fork what is there we don't have any choice but to check it out come on we played this game twice already we know what there it is horrifying shrek open the door there was a room behind it which uh, might be one of the Maintenance room for a bomb shelter. Empty bottle and cigarette bottle, but uh, scared everywhere. The wall were all covered with scrabble. So that means there is another exit from here. I didn't want to believe that the, the people who had left all that had come to the same way as we did. Sadly, Shrek wasn't here. Oh, sat so down on the floor. We must have been everywhere now. Not everywhere, Lena pointed at the door of the corner. Looks similar to the one leading to the bomb shelter. There probably should be an exit, as if you said. Should we go? Let's rest for a moment. Okay. Lena sit next to me, very close. And look at my hand. It's alright. What do you mean? That we haven't found Shrek. We should think about getting out ourselves. Will he get out? Yes, probably remember the way. What way? I don't remember anything. Oh, at last, I uh, remember it. I'm not afraid at all. Oh, sure, sure, they said after a short embrace. That good. Because I am with you. Suddenly, there came a noise from behind the door and smile. Jump at once, starting looking somewhere and could use a weapon. The noise of heavy footstep was getting closer. Finally, the door opened and Shrek appeared from behind it. In silence, I froze uh, stare at him. There you are. Did you really think you could hide from uh, me? Uh, what? Did you think that I wouldn't find you? But I did. Uh, he wasn't sane. Uh, that was for sure. His face was uh, distorted, very scary, grimy. His uh, eyes uh, glimmed behind his glasses. The missing pioneer held a, a meter rod in the hand. Are you mad? It's us. Yeah, I can see it. You? <sighs> he took a couple of steps toward us. Initially, shield Lena. Uh, did you think you could make a fool of me, leading me here, there, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and I follow, I follow. Here is a meter road. Oh shit. Everything after that was like a habit in slow motion. Shrek charged at us. Me pushed Lena out of the way. The road slowly arched toward my head. Oh shit, my head with the flashlight going up. 
following all that, uh, completely darkening, uh, rapid breathing, bleed, hammer, in my tumble silence, D dreadful heavy silence, merging with the darkness. I moved my hand, trying to find uh, the wall, then I felt something touch. Don't be afraid! I had a familiar voice near me. What are you, you dumb demand a lunatic? I shouted. He left! Which way did he go? Where to? Lena's voice didn't uh, sound too calm, but simply it uh, didn't sound like it uh, should in such a circuit. Calm down! She hugged me eternally and pressed her body against mine. I tried to gather my sense to recover my breath, to adapt to the darkness. What shall we do next? You have a gun! Oh shit! Well, who do I shoot? It's loaded with flare. She might be right. Took the gun, my belt, went to the side of flare. The room was immediately by bright red light. I think this is bad idea. I don't know if the math bastard can check that out, but I think we will all die if we done that. The flare lie on the corner, look like a firework at a sparkle. Uh, let go quickly, it won't burn for too long. Where to? Lena put at the second uh, floor. It wasn't hard to open it and we headed into the darkness. The flare burned more dimly with every second. I stumbled with every step, even fell down a couple of times, but didn't slow my piece. It's gone out. Finally, we saw a light in front of us, come to ladder, lead to getting in the ceiling to the flare has and went out. Thank goodness. It turned out that we were right under the statue of Grenda. The gather was rather sturdy, but we managed to open it after breaking the bolt with the flashlight. After reaching the surface, I collapsed on the grass, exhausted. That went terribly. Lena sat next to me. Just dreadful. By the time I didn't even damn about a, a word of camp of a 410 bus, or my private life. The strangest, the nastiest thing was that there was nothing supernatural of that event. Shrek just went crazy. Insane. Nothing strange about it. I would have to end the position. Lena patted uh, my head uh, tenderly and smiled. It's all over now. I don't know. There is a crazy pioneer on the woods. You could even say a maniac killer. I think he's gonna be alright. Alright? I'm not sure about that. And I don't think I want him to be alright. He almost killed me. The most important thing is that we are okay. She still smiled. How can you be so calm? I told you before that I have nothing to be afraid when I am with you. Oh, indeed, I might have saved Lena and myself back there. But it was only by chance, nothing more. If the trick had been swifter or crazier, Thanks for the compliment. You're welcome. Oh, I love you. I thought we still should have stayed here in the first place. Y you're probably right. She said calmly. I got really sleepy. Because of stress, of exhaustion, and how late at night it was. We should go to sleep. But I have to stand up and walk to the later cabin. I wasn't uh, ready for it that. My eyes closed for the moment. The stars looked down at me from the sky. Thousands of them, even millions. Now their light didn't seem to be distant and cold. On the country, they twink at me, as if uh, whispering among themselves, telling merry fairy tales in eager competition. About a galaxy far, far away and violet uh, full of a Bigelet about mysterious uh, asteroid uh, belt where ships have disappeared about uh, 
fairly starship captain and his brave crew about exploration treasure and unreachable beak of a planet on the edge of the universe. I wonder, is that a dream? I lifted myself a little and realized my head was in the Lena lab. Oh, did I sleep long? I asked in confusion, but uh, didn't rush to get up. Why would you? I don't know. I don't have a watch. She left <laughs> abruptly. Well, maybe 20 minutes. Ah, oh, that's okay then. I lie down again, feeling nice and calm like never before. The event of the night were become distant, as if I was starting to forget them, like the story of the stars were telling me. Uh, Shrek had, uh, Shrek uh, has come back. What? I jumped my feet and sleep. Uh, there he is, sleeping on the bench. Lena pointed to the bench in surprise. And what are you? You were sleeping so peacefully that I didn't want to wake you up. I felt a shiver of fear because such a behavior was not just a strain, it was not inappropriate. It is scary more than Shrek and Slee in the dungeon. A lunatic who half an hour ago tried to kill us arrived, lie on the nearby bench and fall asleep, and she just sat there. Nothing to worry about, he just seemed to be a little off. Lena got confused and blushed. He walked and steadily and didn't look toward us, and if I, it made me a noise, she was about to cry. Okay, don't worry. There was some logic to her words, but stupid logic. She probably did the right thing. In any case, we had an intelligent and shrug again. I jump out. Walked quickly to the bench, it was sleep on, and slapped him. <laughs> Ouch! He woke up at once. What the hell? What are you doing, you bastard? What? Shrek turned at me with a scared and over thin look. Uh, what was that awful hole down there? What where? In the dungeon, in the mine, the bomb shelter, did you go completely nuts? I don't understand you. He looks around. Uh, why am I here? You, you crazy? And where should you be in your opinion? Oh, wait, you know, you should be in the asylum. Uh, I went to the old camp to morning for spare part and then... Don't you remember anything after that? Uh, Lena asks after walking up uh, to us. Yes, and I don't pretend. I sit calmly and sit next to him. I really looked like he wasn't lying enough. I don't understand anything. It was unscientific. Who cares? Don't, don't think that I trust you. Memory loss can occur just... Shrek talked to himself, mumbling something, not paying any attention. Let go. Lena said quietly. Shall we just leave him here? He's not in his right mind, he has to sleep. That dangerous to leave the psycho alone. He may strangely uh, string electronic with a different call at night. It's not, it's gonna be alright, trust me. I had no reason not to trust her. However, I didn't have any reason to trust her either. Oh, on the other hand, who cares now? I want to fall asleep quickly as possible. Okay. We left Shrek who has who was still mumbling something to himself. <sighs> we are here. Uh, what? Where? I have to go further on. Lena smiled. I hadn't thought about anything all the way here. Just uh, follow her, and hadn't noticed that we had come to old girl cabin. Yes. Thank you for today. There's nothing to thank me for, it's just good uh, we come back alive. We'll see Shrek has to come tomorrow. Thank you anyway, she said to Mr. X and the eye. You're welcome. Well, it's time for me to go. Lena quickly turned around and walked quickly in the direction of Kevin. Suddenly had thought that something about 
that was a bit of not quite right after all that had happened just well it's time for me to go it usually gone differently in such a situation doesn't it i have no idea what i expected though eh, exhausted hit me again walking with difficulty into the cabin the leader was sitting on my bed simon she started talking suddenly ah, you make me feel lonely simon don't you care about my feeling where have you been? Well, I... The bear for scald. I didn't expect that reaction. Uh, I want to look for Shrek. Alone? We have to say that... Uh, alone. Tell her you went with Lena. Tell her you went alone. Yes, alone. So? What about Shrek? It looked like Olga was really worried about the fate of the lost pioneer. What's so strange about that? The leader can treat her work lightly, but it doesn't mean that she a heartless person. He's okay. As okay as he could be in such a situation. Ah, <sighs> that's good. Go to sleep now. Wait, but... She turned the light out quickly, uh, showing that uh, the conversation is over and I couldn't ask anything. So should I ask why she didn't scold me? Still, Lena, what uh, happened today? My thoughts slowly their piece uh, before stopping completely. Day five, and this is a good point to end the. Uh, uh, to end the episode yeah we go to the strawberry uh, collecting next time so goodbye for now see you next episode